Uh, we'll set a start time, probably mid-afternoon, Nate. <clears throat> Sterling is down to three spots left. Crowder went big. But uh, probably do like 7 to 8 o'clock, something like that. Good wins on the site. Yep, Ben. You can see it in the uh, hockey section, or the upper deck section. There we go. Fix the wording. No, I, I hate the wording, too. I typed that quick. I thought I saved it, but it did not save. I'm going to fix it in a second, dude. No worries. I got it. <clears throat> Why does it keep doing this? Okay, personal. It's 20 good wins, champion. And fade. Hey, there we go. It's a really nice card, Ben. I know. I want a LeBron. That would be sweet. Okay, anybody need the link for Optic? There it is. That's tomorrow night. Two PYT cases. Probably do them at 7.30 and 8.45. And then we'll do our top Sterling 16-box uh, mini box hit draft to follow. Anybody interested in any spots for anything, let me know and I'll get you details. Optics right on the site. Sterling, pretty easy to explain. I can't imagine what the LeBrons are going to go for. I was actually check eBay right now, see if any are out yet. Upper deck, Goodwin 2020. Let's see. Highest price, buy it now. Anything crazy out yet? Oh my god. Casey Mize has exquisite RPAs. Damn. And Wander does? What? What? Look at what they snuck into Goodwin. Check that out, fellas. 125 a box, Jaren. I do have a case. If you're interested in a case, they can give you a better price. Be like an hour and a half break if we did a case, but we could do one. Wander and Casey Mize are on those exquisite RPAs on a 99. Those are sweet. <clears throat> Gretzky's on card. That is sweet, too. Need a big boy. Dude, I might make the cat patch set. That's pretty sweet. There's some really cool cards on a good one. If you guys want to scroll through what's hit, feel free to uh, check it out right there. Yes. Alright, 
right, we'll do Ronnie's first. Let me go grab the other half of the case. And then we'll do Jaren's three. Ron Patch Auto coming in. How's it going, everybody? Tim with Life Case Break here goodwin champions release day oddball release lots of crazy stuff you never you'll never see in other products ronnie's got the first box here a left three this one right ronnie you want the original stack we got three more for jaron coming right up anybody else wants one they are on the site under the upper deck tab <clears throat> upper deck tab voice cut out there i think that's the one you said you want the og left Sounds good. Let me get zoomed. Zoom, zoom. Mikey would like to team draft a case of 2020 Finest. We got a couple cases in stock, so we could do that. If we have any interest, type into the chat. I'll put together the pricing, and uh, we can figure out how many people we want to roll with. New Bounty, the first 25 collectors to complete the 50-card Splash of Color Lenticular set. Wow, they won a Tiger Woods autograph. That is sweet. Fun, fun. And then a uh, Anthony Davis ad on the back. The good one's less packs this year. That's not too bad. Oh, 20 packs, not bad at all. Let me just get a quick price on the finest for it. Uh, Zach, it depends how many people are in it. It would be, let's see, those are 1600 ish. Uh, 17 by 6. It's like 280 a spot, and you draft five teams throughout a case, and then you get those teams, obviously. So about 275, 280. I don't have an exact, but we'll get an exact if we have enough. Art, you don't have access to Upper Deck yet? I can add you in. Let me just finish Ronnie's box. We got plenty of good ones, so don't worry. We're not going to sell out. I mean, we could sell out, but I don't think we will. But we could. These packs are super skinny, and holy hell are they hard to open. Wow, oh, Gorilla Drew this year, upper deck. All right. Know what we're in for with this. He may buy it all. If I hit him a LeBron exquisite patch auto, he may just throw it up for sale and buy himself a couple cases. He just wanted to curse in Goodwin release day. How's it going, Andy? I 
I very much like the uh, base card design this year. Very clean. to restock our cardboard fillers here base card design very clean love the black and white with the gold that is a sharp look photography is vastly improved this year usually good one has a uh, little bit of a haze over the photos this year they pop wow especially those damn I need that autograph Hello, Alex Morgan. That is a nice looking card. Yeah, base cards are epic, man. Not to spend so much time on base, but man, they did a great job. It'd be a nice base set to collect there. There's Wander's base card. Tell photography, everything, it pops. Very nice product. All right, there's Alex Morgan's mini. I don't know who that is. I'm a big MMA fan. Is she in the UFC? Maybe Bellator. They do put a lot of Bellator uh, fighters in the oddball products. Is that Mark Henry I think I just saw? The King! He's an animal. Dominic! Sibakova. All right, no hits. Quarter of the way in. Ken Jennings is your auto. Almost looks like a gold border. We'll find out in a second. The Jeopardy Wiz doesn't have any numbering on it. Definitely looks like a gold border. Could just be the style of the card, though. Nice auto. Ken Jennings. I got to imagine he'll sell okay. The Jeopardy all-time record. Ken Jennings. Cool card. So an auto is out. Three hits a box, I believe, on this. There's a big boy base. RJ Hampton. Relic is Ken Jennings. Dual memorabilia. He's a TV personality. <laughs> That's not big boy. Ken Jennings, or Ken Jennings uh, dueling up here. Laura Wilkerson mini and a Steven Root. Goodwin Champions 3D Lenticular. PC started, yes. That may be your third hit. The King and a Tiger. There's Mark Henry again. There's Big Boy again. Brendan Bayless on the mini. I believe that is a Lumberjack. Definitely had that feel. Let's see if you got any extra hits over here. Timothy Way, Casey Mize, Erica Hosini, another root, and boy Ben Simmons again. There's Dominguez's base. Ben Simmons has got multiples. Anybody wondering why there's so much Ben Simmons? He has a Upper Deck exclusive contract. So that's why he's in every Upper Deck release. Little mini there, Joe Morofsky or Moravsky. Any variations on the minis this year that you know of, Ronnie? Got the big boy tricolor. Or Color Splash, I believe they're called, right? King Mini. And that's it, buddy. Well, our first auto out of Goodwin this year is Ken Jennings. We've got three more boxes coming up for Jaron. He did have the Lumberjack back with Brendan Bayless. Those have a wood feel to them. 
wood grain. You can see it there. There you go. All right, Ronnie. Thank you, buddy. Anybody looking it up? Let me know how Ken Jennings is selling. Always interested. Jaron, go ahead and make your picks, buddy. That's a fresh 16-box case. Ronnie just took out Ken Jennings. Pretty much, Art. Yeah. Mr. Orlando, how goes it, buddy? All right, I'm uh, adding you to the upper deck. Top three crossed. All right, you got it. Adding you to the upper deck area. Could have swore you were already in there. Oh, there you go. You are allowed now, my friend. It may take a while. Oh, you got to log out and log back in, Art, if you're on the website. Got a good win for Danny Man coming up after Jaron, too. All right, here we go. Hey, everybody. Tim with LiveCaseBreak.com. Three more good ones. Jaron taking the top rows apart. Just want to mention, guys, we have the Top Sterling 16 mini box draft tomorrow night. You do need to be in the room if you're going to join. It's $450 a spot. There are only three left. And you will get a mini box from a case. So you're guaranteed a hit. There are two guaranteed 101s per case, per their odds. So it should be... Two one ones and every other card should be 25 or lower. And the boxes are themed, so we'll do a draft, of course. You guys will pick in order. That will be very, very fun to see who drafts what and what winds up coming out. So again, three left. Let me know if you'd like a spot, and I'll get you marked down for it. All right, empty there. there and we're trying to fill a finest team draft if anybody else is interested by the way it's about 275 a spa by six you get five teams drafted out of a case of finest we'll run that later tonight if it fills i got mikey in for one i could probably be talked into taking a spot if we get there late night so four spots left on that just let me know if you want in you don't have to send in yet for the finest team draft jaron or for uh top sterling Sterling, okay. Two left on Sterling, though. Let me update the group. Got you down, Jaron. You're all set, buddy. We got Jaron, Crowder, Greg for two, Stevie for one, Crowder going big, multiple spots, see if the strategy pays off, I can't wait to see all the themes and see what everybody picks, good luck man, it'll be a while before we see cards, I'm going to go ahead and open all these packs, Jaron, so it'll take about probably five minutes, these are very slow opening. And we'll go through all the stacks at once. Wow, that just did not want to open. One second, buddy.
<laughs> Man, I am struggling with Goodwin packs. This could be fun. It absolutely does. The packs this year, though, are, like, sturdy. All right. We are through one box on Jaren's order here. Get the other three open. Let's pull that closer. Other four stacks open, sorry. You got a couple fat cards here, buddy. There was a fat one there and a super fat one right there. You can see it. Surely must be a LeBron uh, sneaker patch on it. Thicker new material, right, Ronnie? Wicked hard to open. Yeah, because you can't just rip it towards. You could try. Yeah, it doesn't. I would damage the corners that way. Don't want to do that. Three stacks left, and then we're showing cards. Tomorrow night, Mike. Got two cases of Optic on the website. And we've got Sterling Baseball, only two spots left. It's a mini box hit draft, or a mini box draft. Sorry, not a mini box hit draft. Mini box draft, it's $450 a spot, guarantees you one card, 25 or lower, and a shot at two one-on-ones. That's the agenda for tomorrow night. We'll do the optic cases first, end the night with the Sterling. Probably start around 7.30ish. And I'll definitely have some baseball on in the background. I believe Yankees and Nats tomorrow night. I'm not sure what the other games are. And then I believe Friday is opening day for everybody else. Of course, the Jays still don't know where they're playing. So that's fun. It's actually not a lot of cards, Stevie. It's, uh, it's only 100 cards a box. The packs are insanely slow to open. So that's, that's the issue. It's really not that many, though. Dodgers-Giants is the other game tomorrow. Oh, my God. Do you guys believe we finally get Major League Baseball? Yeah, we'll have both games on. I'll have them on in the background, just the audio, of course. It'll be a little, light. It'll be a little low on the volume, because I obviously can't play that loud. Copyrighted. I bet Pirates winning the division would be a massive payout, but hell, anything can happen in 60 games. They got Cueto on the bump. Dude, how about Garrett Cole and Max Scherzer tomorrow night? Yankees now. Hell yes. Yes, he has. Yep. Could be uh, the year of the judge. There is no moving fast on these, Stevie. No moving fast. I don't know. I like the over in that game, honestly, Art. Remember, public is usually wrong. 42K, Mike? Damn, man. If you hit that, I'll be case shopping for you. Buy a couple Bowman cases, put them away for a year. Turn that 42K into 60. Oh, is that right, Greg? No. Wow. Greg Hall just came to the chat and rained on 
all of our parades. <laughs> Insert Debbie Downer meme. Sorry, Greg. I didn't even think about that, and I knew about the rain in New York, too. That sucks. Suck it, Yankees. Come on. Got a third fat card. So maybe some map relics. Some MJ shoe relic autos. Some LeBron patch autos. Etc. Etc. Greg did hurt my feelings. I was so stoked. But it probably will be. Ooh. Two fat cards in the same box right here. All right, last pack, ladies and gents. Here we go. Tear into three boxes, a good one. I got one more box after this for Danny in the queue. Oh, games in DC? Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw Fauci, yep. Let's see. Okay, just one box in the queue. Here we go, Jaren. Good luck, man. Ken Jennings Shoe Relic to keep up the theme. Is a Bridges. I'm going to just set all the minis down, and then we'll flip through them at the end. Theo Meladion. Jenny Andrade got in the good one. Nice. UFC uh, Brazil ring girl. Wayne Gretzky, Goodwin Champions, tricolor on the bottom. Rest of that first stack. Phil Dalhauser, Beach Volleyball. Nice. Bianca Andrescu, Color Splash. I gotta remember to say that. Not multicolor. Will Power, he's a professional race car driver. <laughs> okay. There's your first hit. It's an RJ Hampton. And then you got a mini there, too. A little 3D mojo. Nice Hampton. Tiger Woods. Lumberjack, Darius Garland there. The King. Little mini there, Ryum, hockey player. Okay, we got one of our first fat cards. We only got one hit out of this first box, so it should be two hits in this final stack. Erica Hosseini. Nice. Professional surfer. <laughs> That's a cool photo. Photography is just awesome this year. Very, very cool. LeBron, another filler, the king, and first one is Woodrow Wilson Stamp. Heads of State. Back when stamps were seven cents. That's pretty damn cool. Vintage stamps. Tiger Tiger Woods, y'all. Let's see if this is numbered. It's HS43. That really looks nice, actually. Cool. So Woodrow Wilson Vintage Stamp second hit. There should be another hit here. Hey, there it is. James Holtzauer. And there was a color splash. Bucci Gross. Oh, dual memorabilia, James Holtzauer. Where is he from? I definitely recognize him. Alright, a whole bunch of base, and we move on to box two. So, presidential stamp, a TV personality relic, and an RJ Hampton color splash 3D. Check out your minis real quick before we move on. I think just the garland was a uh, lumberjack back. Yep. 
Okay. Got at least three more fat cards. Got the Tiger Lumberjack. The King. The King again. LeBron James. Fat card on the way. I'm just going to put it on the bottom. Leave it right there. Go through the base first. Get another hit on the way, too. Ooh, second auto. Dominika Chubakova. Looks like a little red border, perhaps. Dominika Chubakova. Nice autograph. Clean looking card. Got another 3D coming up. And then you got a fat card. Ryan Stasic Mini. Brendan Bayless. Goodwin Champions on the 3D. How's it going, Clark? Cool looking card. I believe she's pretty good. My tennis knowledge is nowhere near what it used to be, but I'm pretty sure she's uh, regarded. Oh, yeah, we should have pulled up the uh, autograph odds. They put those out not too long ago, right? All right, Bucci Gross Color Splash. Second thick card is a sea creature. Scorpion Fish Patch. That's neat. Was he really, Greg? Holtzauer? Scorpion Fish. Trading card with a manufactured sea creatures patch. I mean, those look really freaking cool. I don't know about the value, but they look cool. Might not be anything else on this side, since we got all three hits on the opposite. We'll go through nonetheless. Oh, what is that? Wander Franco. Thought that was a rip card at first. Very cool little insert here. I don't know what the insert is, but that is a really cool looking card. Auto's a common one. That's a bounty card. Number to th number 30 on the back. Border variation. Really neat looking. Nice. A little bit of a bonus in there. Nice Gretzky color splash. Okay, another mini. And... Should be it for that box. Nice Dominguez mini. All right, final two. This box had two fat cards in it. Here's your minis. Only variations there was the Tiger Lumberjack. <laughs> That's a breaker variation. Uh, the bounties have the codes on the back, right? Box three. Got Danny coming up next with a box, and I believe the queue is empty after that. like an auto there. Robin Bone. Pole Vaulter. And a filler card. No hits out of this box yet. Not an auto. Mark Henry Strongman. And we move to the other stack. All three hits hiding over there. Fat card there. Other fat cards on the bottom. And James Holtower. Memorabilia. Silver border. 
Me too, Stevie. Me too. Alright, so we got the two thick cards on the bottom. Should be our last two hits. Let's see what we got. There's a Holtzauer, Goodwin Champions. Lumberjack back. MJ. The Splash O Color. Casey Mize. Leave the card there. This should all be base. Erica Hosseini. All right, this side first. Let's figure out which way we're going here. There is a mini underneath. Let me just usher that out. And <laughs> cat collection, first one. The Jungle Cat, Goodwin Champions. Of the Tiger Clark, each year for Goodwin's Champions, they just pick a animal species and uh, they do uh, a bunch of cards of them. Last year, I think it was horses. Anybody remember? Some of them are super rare and actually sell for a lot of money. Tier 2 Cat, the Jungle Cat. So the second rarest tier. There we go. Jungle Cat Patch. Jaron, it's going to be really interesting seeing what you get money-wise for these. Is there a mini over there? No, there's not. All right, last stack of minis. You had one Lumberjack right there. Rest are all regulars. And going this way. I'll go all the way up to Tier 6. Well, damn. Well, damn. It is another stamp. That one looks interesting. Vintage stamps. I have no idea what that says, so... It looks like it's dated December 22nd, and... Holy crap. King of Denmark. Heads of State. That might be worth some money. Anybody know how to read that date? Let's check out the back. One of the most popular Danish monarchs. He served as King of Denmark from 1912 to 1947. Okay, not as old as I thought it was, then. Ah, during World War II, the German occupation. Interesting. Riding a horseback through the streets of Copenhagen without the protection of guards. That's really neat. Cool. There you go. Looked much older at first, but still. That's a heck of a card. Interesting. All right, Jaron. Good stuff. Like I said, it's going to be fun to figure out uh, what the heck to price that stuff at. Most of it will probably be going to your comm C. Danny Man, you are up, buddy. Left stack, middle box. All right, let me just check the queue, see if anybody else hopped in. Okay, nobody else in the queue behind Danny Man. Left stack, middle box. Good luck, buddy. Oh, hold on. Forgot to change my chat, too. Awful. Hey, everybody. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. This is a personal box of good win champions. For Danny Man. Favorite Aussie. He's going left stack, middle box. He's moving that last box out of the way. So, right there. He's going to move that there and that there. Oh, you're breaking your rule, Ronnie. You're supposed to stick it one, bro. Breaking the rule.
All right, Danny. <laughs> one then, one now. There you go. That's a good way. <laughs> F. Daniel. Nice. Ronnie fighting back. I love it. Beer tab is too much. Ron doesn't drink beer, bro. Ron has one drink. Open up the credit. Now why would you ever want Ronnie to retire? Then you gotta listen to me break hockey, Danny. You don't wanna do that. My wife has money. <laughs> Check your PayPal. There you go. Leanne! <laughs> you might get a hit. Alright, Danny, you ready to go? There we go. I guess it's kind of good if you don't see a fat card. High rods of ink, I would think that way. Tiger Woods Lumberjack. Erica Husseini again and Christian Coleman. Nothing to report yet. Robin Bone again. Well then. It's a Ken Jennings kind of night. He hits again. Ken Jennings. Ronnie got the same auto. At least there shouldn't be any more Ken Jennings autos in there. Or Ken Jennings. Dominguez Color Splash for you, Com C. And a Brendan Bayless. We've had him a couple times too. So two hits out, one left, and there it is. Joe Burrow Mini and a Tiger color splash there you go Goodwin Champions 2020 Jeopardy edition okay a couple orders popped in might be some more Goodwins boxes I'll let you guys know in a little bit here also be teams for tomorrow night Scarface made it in. Nice. <laughs> okay, Erica Hosseini. Hockey Splash. Got a LeBron Mini. Bayless Splash. Stevie Wiss. Boy, that's an interesting last name. Who could tell me how you pronounce that name? Stevie Weiss? Stevie Wiss? The King! Scarface again on the bottom. There you go, Danny. Your box is done, Leanne. Let me know if you need another. Okay.
Okay, I've got two more for Jaren. And then another order behind it. It's... Why did she cover her face? <laughs> that was pretty good today. Steve R is going to try a good one. Jaren, you ready to go? Bottom on the left, two stacks. All right. Oh, Danny, I didn't flip your minis over, but you just had the one. You had the Tiger Woods Lumberjack and nothing else. For variants, at least. I'm going to take these back to Danny stack, and you want bottom on the left, two. So right there. Okay. Be right back. Good luck. Hello, everybody. Once again, Tim with Live Case Break. More good one. Two boxes for Jaron. We got a box for Steve coming up this after this. So if you are looking to grab a box, you got a three box wait. They are 125 a piece. They're on the website if you want to check out. That of course includes shipping and your hits in top loaders. Top loaders becoming a commodity in the modern hobby. Top loader shortage in the hobby right now. All right, open up all these stacks and then go through all at once. So it'll be a few minutes here. Again, anybody in the room, guys, we have two spots left for tomorrow night's uh, 2020 Top Sterling. It's a mini box hit draft. 16 spots, 450 a spot. If anybody else would like to reserve, let me know. Crowder went big. Crowder must have seen something he liked with Sterling today. Unless it's a leaf redemption, I steal that top loader. Bro, they're like 25 cents a piece now. Getting expensive. Now it looks like I've been making a mint all these years stealing the Leaf Redemptions. <laughs> Alright, so biggest hit out of Goodwin so far. We have two Ken Jennings autos. I think that's it. Ooh, got a book. Looks like a book right there, Jaren. I'm not going to peek, but I'm going to leave it on the bottom. And with that stack. All right. We may have a new top hit out of Goodwin. Anybody interested in a 2020 finest full case team draft? If you're in the chat and interested, be about 275 a spot. Get yourself five teams in a team draft throughout an entire case of finest. We can do those tonight. Anybody's interested. Nothing is happening at ComC anytime soon. Nope. Oh, they're Aesop's Fables this year. Nice. Last year they were, uh, what were they? Uh, the other one. Uh, oh my god, right on the tip of the tongue. Uh, 
Grimm's. Grimm's fairy tales. Hey, I remembered. There, put it in the mini stat. Dude, they're, they're starting to chafe a little bit, and it's 9.30. <laughs> it's only because of the damn packs, like I said. I think I found a, uh, I think I found the angle. Oh, God. Uh, that's what she said. I think I found the angle on the Goodwin packs. There we go. That's better. throw the packs around. Producers better hits that way. I may if we get too much further into good one. <laughs> the old Alex shapes. How about the uh, the alley desktop? Boom boom. Oh my god that was awful. Thank God she never did that on an expensive card. Can you imagine? That might have been worse than uh than poor Alex's judge gaff. Okay, we are ready to go. We got a book to end this round on. Two boxes. Good luck, Jaron. Another mini there. Splash, Stevie. Don't fall, chess player. Can't move too quick through these. Those minis pop right out. Another splash on the tiger. Stasic. No hits through the first step. Awful. <laughs> nice wander. Jamie Dwyer. Holtzauer again. That's a lumberjack. Jesse Labrec, Steven Root, where are all the hits? The hits are hiding. Through three quarters of a box, not one hit. Interesting. There's one. Jameis Ramsey. Huh. The little Air Jordan logo there. Ramsey. Anybody got the odds on Jameis Ramsey? I gotta assume he is a common. <laughs> Can't find my stippler. It's a swing line stippler. Placed it with a Boston stippler. Second, it's Ken Jennings. Hey, wouldn't have guessed. A little bit of life to that patch, at least. A little two-color. He's on Jeopardy. Boy. And there's that last hit. Is it a Simmons? It's a Simmons memorabilia. So they were all hiding in the end. Not common, but the next up. Nice.
Henry and Jesse Labrec. All right. Minis, Jaren. Looks like just the Goodwin. Lumberjack. Holtzauer. Yep. All right. Still got that book on the other side. Right down there. Go this side first. Jufre. Laura Wilkinson. Nice LeBron splash. Should be a couple bucks. Again, we have no hits going into the opposite side here. How's it going, Dale? What was the cost check thing? What did I miss? I miss a, I miss a cost check reference. Okay, Theo Maldeon, and that's a really nice looking card. Wander Franco, game used, memorabilia. The color splash. Nice. Second hits out. <laughs> An uncorrected cost check autograph? Un uncorrected cost check error. There's your second hit. Got the 3D Nick Lucena. Beach Volleyball. Don't really move much. Can't hurt your eyes. Okay, shouldn't be any hits till we get to that book. Wow. Gretzky headshot. Looks like it's straight off a 90s sitcom right there. Lumberjack back, Jamie Dwyer. Tiger Splash. And... Basketball Mini. A Dominguez base there. Leave one card on the book. And what do we have? We have uh, Simone Manuel, Joe Burrow, and Mongolia. I don't get it, Dale. I don't get it, man. What about that is Koshek? You're going to have to explain it to me. I'm a dummy. <laughs> That's really an Owen Mills Gretzky, yeah. Last couple minis, just the one Lumberjack. Jamie Dwyer, and let's see who the book is. It is an autograph on the back. The hair, Dale? Is that what you're saying? The wolf and the shepherd. There we go. Once a wolf, always a wolf. Artist signature, Anthony. They don't give you the full name, so I don't know what that looks like. Richard something. AFS number 20. Some of these sell. That artist rendition isn't necessarily the best art I've ever seen, though. There you go. Anthony Ricicci. Yep. Nice. Okay, I believe Steve's up next. Let's get these moved off on the side. All right, Steve. Which one you want, buddy? Just double check anybody else in the queue as of now. Nobody else.
And here we go. All right, we got Steve with the Goodwin Champions box. He wants third down in the middle. Nothing huge out of this case yet. We got just eight left. See what this one brings. Hey, that's the back of the box. That's not the front. Crappy ass breaker. Didn't even know his products. All right, good win. Let's see what we got for Steve. Fat card on the top. It's a good start. Yep, definitely fat card in that Domingo's pack. What's the uh, what's the game schedule for MLB on Friday? I have not looked. Anybody got it up by chance? Just wondering who plays when. If anybody happens to have a handy. By chance. <laughs> I'm going to leave the fat card on the bottom there. We'll end on that stack. Yeah, that was a pretty bad one, Greg. Nobody answered, so it's even worse. Everybody's clearly focused on the good one break. Clearly. This little piece there. One more pack, Steve. buddy go through the left looks like there's at least two hits on the right splash Moravsky mini Andrescu Andrescu not entirely sure how that pronounces splash room RJ Hampton there. Nice Alex Morgan insert and no hits yet. All right, got one fat card right on the top here. It is Cat Collection. The Abyssinian Cat. Cat collection. I may have to get this set for my wife. Oh, man. Very much so, Daniel. Very, very much so. But only basketball. I never played college football video games. But college basketball, I probably played that way more than the NBA games back in the day. Abyssinian Cat FC2 in the Cat Collection. It does kind of look like a life, life like Garfield. All right, there's one hit out. Steve, got yourself a cat. Willpower Lumberjack Mini. I'm going to relieve all the way. Just one card on that. Tier one on the cat. Well darn. 
70 bucks, dude. That was the last year they made it, I believe. Wow. Yeah, I used to love the March Madness games. They were one of my faves. I don't even know why they stopped making them. Probably licensing, I would guess. Now, here's one that could be huge. I don't know anything about soccer. Timothy Way? Big name, rare auto. Anybody? Don't know much. Nice, clean autograph, though. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy, though. 70 bucks for a game. 10 years old. 10, 11 years old. All right, man. Let's see what the thick card on the bottom is. You got a nice one on top, too. Dominguez Splash. And you got yourself a If Will Clayton was here, he would know. He he knows soccer. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, six cent vintage stamp. Heads of state. Depending on what that soccer auto goes for, pretty neat box. Very nice. FDR. Great Depression of 1933. There you go. Wow. 125, 150. That is wild. I may honestly have some of those in my garage and old storage boxes. I still have my old, old 360. Just haven't turned it on in ages. Doubt it works. Then, Steve, you just had the one Lumberjack Mini. So there we go. Dominguez Color Splash in there, too, for your Comp C. Mark that down. Okay. The queue is open if anybody else would like anything. I'll get that finest uh, line too, Mike, and we'll get an actual price put to it. Firm. Let's see if anyone's interested. So, guys, we're filling up a 2020 finest baseball full team draft. I'm going to put it in the uh, put it in the thing here. Full case team draft. You got it, Ronnie. Just give me a second. Checking the queue real quick, make sure nobody snuck in, and it looks good, man. Cheering, notes on an order. Okay, two boxes. Got it. Okay, everybody, we got another box of Goodwin. This one's for Ronnie B. Left three. We got seven left from the first case. Biggest hit. I, maybe the Aesop's book and the soccer player ink. I would say. I can't even figure out how to open a box. Okay, so let's do this. Get all these the right side up. Didn't even see we had them backwards. All right, that's better. All right, Ronnie, let's see if we can land a monster here.
Ronnie, if you were thinking about doing a case break of this, I think... I think there's definitely a format that we could make work. You may already have something dreamt up, though. By the way, no fat card, so... Could be some ink here. Perhaps. Alright. Even categories, you could do some sort of hybrid player slash category, I feel like. Get to a decent number of spots, keep the keep the cost down on a random at least. But maybe there's enough categories to do that too. Fabiano Caruana. He looks smart. Vince Russo. Ooh, that might be an auto. It's got that red, just like the other autos, and it is Jaden McDaniels. Don't know much about Jaden McDaniels. 125 a box, Eddie G. They're right on the website if you need one. Or uh, feel free to send in direct or custom order. Should be able to just click on the upper deck spot, though. I'm pretty sure you're at it. That is not a member of Outcast, man. Jaden McDaniels. It's a basketball player that I haven't even heard of. Casey Mize, second hit, game used, relic, little life. Looks more like a jean jacket. One hit left, and there it is. That's a nice one, though. Joe Burrow, 3D. At least a top name. Former LSU great, Joe Burrow. All right, Ronnie. Well, there was another box that had a bonus, so maybe yours will have one, too. Seven boxes left from that case, ladies and gents. Let's see what else is hiding here. Another color splash. Got your Mark Henry Strongman Mini. Laura Wilkinson. LeBron James. And that's it, buddy. Robin Bone finishes the box. No outcast members. Seven boxes left, guys. The queue is open. Here's your minis. No variances. And Bianca, or no, Dominic Sibakova was your lumberjack. Lumberjack. Boo! I agree. I want to see a Jordan shoe. LeBron sneaker patch. Alright, I'm going to do a video dump. If anybody needs anything, let me know. I'll be typing into YouTube for a few minutes there. on for sports tonight. What's up, Tim P? Good one is 125 a box shipped, and we break it live, and we put your hits and sleeves and top loaders. Ships off after the weekend. 
125, and I can walk you through how to check out on our website if you're interested in buying one. Wrong click. Tim P, you get my reply, buddy? Just want to make sure. Bro, how about Rowdy this spring? Rowdy has been crushing it. Rowdy, Steve? I've got a couple nines, man. PSA 9 first Bowmans if you don't have any. I've got plenty. I might have to unload some if he continues this streak. Bowling. Bowling. Bowling is not something I want. Alright, let's see this Vladdy bomb. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was nice. <laughs> Vladdy shot. A hanging curveball right down the middle, too. Ooh, nice. Oh, my gosh. Dude, yeah. He did not miss a, uh, a stitch of that ball. Ronald Francis. Gotcha, buddy. Kobe W., thank you for the optic baseball order for tomorrow night, buddy. M's in the first break are gone. Okay. Let me get some upper 
deck videos done here real quick. Get all these Goodwin boxes up on the way. Anybody has any questions at all, feel free to ask, guys. That big boy auto, huh? Three one coming, and Davis to right back goes Eaton back near the wall. Out of here, JD Davis ties the game with an opposite field home run. Oh, I agree. The score remained tied until the seventh, when reliever Justin Wilson squared off against the Nationals, Anthony Rendon. Rendon gets one of the air to deep left field. Headed toward the wall. That ball is out of here. And the Nats go back in front, five to three in the seventh. Boy, oh boy. In the top of the ninth, Washington would score a sixth run on a wild pitch, giving the Nats a 6-3 lead heading into the bottom of the ninth. But what happened in the bottom of the ninth was nothing short of spectacular. After back-to-back -back hits by J.D. Davis and Wilson Ramos to start the year, Todd Frazier stepped to the plate as the tying run. To the one to Frazier. For it all, man. How's it going, Hago? Okay, there's the final price on the finest baseball. That is 2020 finest baseball. The brand new stuff. 275 by 6, five teams a spot. I know Mike's in. I said I would take a spot, so we got four more if anyone else is interested. See if there uh, if any interest picks up later, Mike. I think everybody's spending their money tonight on Optic and Sterling, of course, neither of which we have. And good one. Robinson Cano and Alonzo will go 
go back to back that inning, bringing the total number of home runs to five, the most ever hit in a single game at a city field. Number 19. A couple of weeks later, the Mets opened a three-game series against the Cardinals. That night, Alonzo would crush his seventh home run of the year, one that would travel 432 feet and ultimately be the game winner for the Mets. And Alonzo drives one to center field. That goes Fowler, looks up at the wall, and it's out of here. Would anybody be interested in that finest break if we did uh, more spots? Like if we did 10 spots? Would they be interested in that? Number 18. On May 21st, Alonzo had already broken the Mets rookie record for home runs before the All-Star break. Entering the game with 15 homers, Alonzo would strike again in a back and forth game against the Nationals. Deals one to Alonzo, and he drives one to deep left field, right down the line, headed toward the corner. Which format are you in for, uh, Crowder? Ten spotter or the six spotter? One week later at Wrigley Field, in just the 77th game of the season, Dale, I know you're in for the ten spotter. Dale, I know you're in for the ten spotter. And Phoenix will lock it out to right center field. Back goes out more. Okay, cool. All right, so we got three left in the six spot. We got Mike, Crowder, and myself in it. Goodwin videos, they are all up. I'm going to move some cards off on the side. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back with you here. Anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. we got three left on a full case. Braves just sold in the second optic, by the way. If anybody was interested in them, they are gone. All right, be right back. The 2020 presidential election will be one of the most exciting races in U.S. history. Who will occupy the Oval Office to memorialize this historic election? This collector's edition 2020 Battle for the White House chess set is now ready for public release. Democrats stand face to face against Republicans. President Donald J. Trump with Mike Pence by his side. 
House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, and House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, knights riding symbolic donkeys and elephants, Justices Brett Kavanaugh, Sonia Sotomayor, Chief Justice John Roberts, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, bishops standing guard to protect the Supreme Court, pawns, elephants for the Republicans and donkeys for the Democrats are the first line of defense. Each piece painstakingly designed for impeccable detail that is truly stunning. A keepsake you'll cherish for generations and proudly display in your home. Former President George W. Bush, Vice President Dick Cheney, along with former President Barack Obama and Vice President Joe Biden, Brooks, for this historic showdown. Who will win the election in your home? You can spend nearly $800 on a traditional chess set, or you can call or go online today to reserve your limited edition 2020 Battle for the White House chess set for only $39.99, complete with an individually numbered certificate of authenticity. Order in the next five minutes and you can get a second chess set. Just pay a separate fee. Because the Democratic nominees are not yet known, you'll receive two empty podiums to play now. Once the candidate is selected, you will be notified to complete your set. So don't wait. Own a piece of history today. To get your collector's edition chess set, call 1-800-681-1185. That's 1-800-681-1185. Call or visit chess2020.com. So call 1-800-681-1185 or visit chess2020.com now. Hey, Joey. That's a service. How can Brooklyn improve its defense? Brooklyn? I'll follow that team. Let me use my uh, dial a friend lifeline. Oh! Hello, Chivo! I got this new job in the technology field. So far, so good. I don't know why you're going. Oh, oh, oh. You got an hour? Seems like I have a question now. SNY, complete coverage of every New York team, anytime, from any device. Get your New York sports here. Number 14. In June, during the back end of a day-night doubleheader against the Yankees, the Mets were in business quickly. And Davis lines one up her short. That's a base hit. McNeil wasn't sure, so he started back towards second. He'll move to third and stop there. So two straight hits on the first three pitches thrown by Paxton. And the Mets up first and third and nobody out. Alonzo stepped up to the plate and would capitalize on that quick start. 2-2 two -two coming. Smash deep left center field. Back goes Gardner. <sighs> it's out of here. Pete Alonzo with a three-run first inning home run. Number 22 for Alonzo. And the Mets start fast. It's 3-0. The Mets would go on to take the second game from the Yankees. 10-4. Number 13. <laughs> on August 18th, the Only sports. Alonzo no problem. home runs on the year. Tied with Cody mm. Bellinger for the most They may trickle in from time to time. On his third hit of the game, Alonzo's historic season. Anybody here interested in UFC? Hammers this ball to left, and that's going to be number 40. Way back. And long gone. Let me see. Let me see what I can do for UFC. He's the first national in rookie in ever. Trying to remember the UFC weight class breakdowns for 2018. In just the 12th game in, the rookie was already demonstrating the devastating effect his swing could have. Alonzo drives one deep center field. Forget that. That is way back in the shrubbery. A splash down. In the shrubbery. An absolute seed to dead center field for his sixth home run. A two run shot, and it's hard to believe that it only any more impressive than that. Found an old weight class video we did. Let's see. 2018 on a full case. 
In the bottom of the fourth, Alonzo stepped to the plate to face off against righty pitcher Steven Strasburg, looking for the Mets' first hit of the game. Filthy bow defense, you say? In late September, the baseball regular season may have been winding down, but for Pete Alonso, things were heating up. In the last 10 games of the season, Alonso's rookie year would reach new heights, starting on September 20th. It was Rowdy Telez's first bowler? I will check it out in a second. I just noticed his first auto doesn't have the uh, first logo on it. But I don't remember him ever being in any other Bowman. I'll check it out. Now 2015 was his first auto. They didn't have the thing on it, though. Oh, wow. That is a play, man. Nice play. He's the man. Be a fun, a fun quick season, dude. Fun quick season. Sixty games just gonna be so quick. For generations, Excellus Blue Cross Blue Shield has been here to care for communities across upstate New York, and a big part of taking care of communities is helping people take care of themselves. So if you've been holding off on scheduling appointments or addressing ongoing health concerns, now might be a good time to reconnect with the doctor. That way, you can be calm, knowing that you have your health and well-being covered as you move forward, and that we're here for you every step of the way. Yeah, I heard Riley's been mashing, too. It's been so hard to follow. How's it going to be? It's Rob from Live at TDBreak.com. We're doing a full page 2018 Tops UFC here. Uh, Tommy, what are you looking for? You've got the heavy. So we're getting heavy. C Swab, the Ocho, L Swab, the Trace, L Swab, the Dose. That's <laughs> what Ronnie's pick pen breaks must be. And who wants to climb a dangerous ladder? I was trying to find our old weight class combos for 2018 Tops UFC Chrome. This is when we first opened the store, dude. You can see the background behind you. It's like empty.
Okay, I got the titles updated. More than had it backwards. those in a second, Steve. Finally got the weight class. And I closed the tab. Why wouldn't I? Oh, on July 17th in Minneapolis, the Mets were looking to sweep a two-game series against the first-place Twins. The eighth batter of the eighth inning, Alonzo stepped up to the plate with the Mets already leading 9-3. And Alonzo gets one out of sight. That ball heads for the second deck and beyond. Number the first deck. Pete Alonzo crushes one. His first home run since the All-Star break is 31st of the year. Ah, I was thinking they were different, Steve, but they're pretty much all the same. Doesn't really matter. Autographs are all pretty much the same. It's got a nice graph. Left, middle, right. Matter? Doesn't matter. Got it. Pete Alonzo. the same after looking at him. Kid's got a nice autograph. Almost looks like it says Ron Jeremy, right? Just noticed that. Definitely. Actually, it really looks like it says Ron Jeremy. <laughs> what the hell? First time I'm seeing that. Well, left, middle, right. You pick. The Rowdy Telez Ron Jeremy auto. The middle one? Sounds good, dude. I'll send it with your next, uh, next round. Be a free perfect fit sleeve, too. Who's Ron Jerry? 
Oh, nobody would know. Of course not. Telling you. Ron Jeremy, right there. Okay, let's find that 2018 Chrome again, just so I have that. Imagine if they did that. That would be pretty wild. Actor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actor. That's good. Everybody has a flashlight. Can your flashlight do this? Or how about this? The Bell and Howell Tactical Flashlight came. Similar flashlights used by elite military units. The Bell and Howell Tactical. Can you think no ordinary flashlight can do? Look, this is no ordinary flashlight. But our military. Dude, call the light pathetic. <laughs> Ten and a half. Ah, that's pretty good, Mike. That was pretty good. Oh gosh, was he really? That's no good. Okay, UFC, let's see. If we did UFC, it'd be 163 a spot by eight. And I do have a full case, or we could cut that in half and just do six boxes of 18 Chrome. If you guys wanted to run a little 18 UFC Chrome divisional weight class. Uh, Jaren, which finest you would be in for the six, I assume? Yep, that's the last one I posted. Okay, so we are down to two on finest. Full case finest team draft. Just going to write out the names again. Two left. Let me pop that in the Facebook group. Joseph, if you're interested, all you got to do is let me know, buddy. Just claim a spot, and then once we're full, you pay up and we run the draft. Spicy. 
So would you like in, Joseph? You don't have to be, buddy. You are more than welcome to just hang out and watch, but if you want a spot, just drop a one, and then you are locked in. So real simple, everybody pays 275 a spot. We uh, run up a six spot randomizer on screen. Why is my camera so cockeyed? Sorry, I got sidetracked there. Attention span is low tonight. Anyways, we put all six of you into a randomizer. Randomizes you up, one through six. Whatever it ends on, that's the draft order. And then we do five rounds. So you draft one through six. Second round is six through one. Third round is one through six. Fourth round is six through one. Fifth round is six through one. So it's a fifth round reversal so that if you get the number one pick, you also get the absolute last pick in the draft. And then whatever teams you select, you get throughout the entire eight box case. I put a little draft board up so you can see what teams are available and what teams are taken. It's a pretty fun format. And uh, yeah, all you got to do to join is drop a one in the chat or just say I'm in. Uh, or you're more than welcome to just hang out and watch. But basic gist of it, you pay 275 you get five teams in an entire case of uh, 20 finest. And you can trade after the draft too. So if you wanted to trade like three teams for one, you could make that offer to whoever had the team you wanted. Any other questions on it? Feel free to ask me, buddy. <laughs> twins and battles or uh, twins and royals I do have personals Joe yep you can hit this link here and check out what we have just double check with me before ordering I think Ron may have went to bed. Had to had to kick the uh, kick the addiction. Joseph, if you just go to livecasebreak.com and type in uh, or click the personal tab, you'll be good. I would agree with the Indians, yeah.
zero chance? I don't know, man. I like that team. I like the White Sox a lot. I think I, I totally agree there. Indians, White Sox. Kwong, if you are watching, I just emailed you back regarding your order. I'm sorry about that. So if you could check that for me. and Ryan McBroom. I can see your twins making a run. Yeah, I like the Rays too, Hago. I like them. Brady Singer starting, Mike? Oh, wow. Huh. Fifteen and thirty-five. It's so weird to say that. What? So, what do you guys think? Best team in baseball this year. What's going to be the t What's going to be the win-loss record? What are we looking at here? You think somebody's going to go fifty and ten? Forty-five and fifteen? 
What do we think? Nate, you say 42 wins. Mm. 42 and 18. I could see a team like the Dodgers ripping off 45 plus. Diamondbacks 46 and 14, Andrew says. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> the Tigers 15 and 45. Maybe. He's a heck of a bowler, we hear. Okay, 20 finest. Now has four, uh, two spots left, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the Cubs have Bryant. Although, I don't know if they will, Will. That's pretty cool. That'd be neat to see somebody do PBA and MLB. Field's awesome, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fun, fun, finding out, uh, you know, the muscle strain now, and um, and you know, you know how much he grinded uh, through it. I mean, I mean, the first we spoke about it, it was always a uh, muscle tightness, you know. And he came in that game. I don't know if you guys remember the line drive that he took of uh, uh, of the calf last uh, Friday, and you know, he pitched a little bit through it. And he finished his pitches also in the bullpen. Um, you know, he came in Monday to try to throw outside. Where is Carlos side. Santana now? Uh, is he, he's back with Cleveland? It wasn't much concern, but now, now I'm getting, getting, getting results. Uh, and, you know, what we have. I had no idea he went back to Cleveland. Week to week and, uh, just to keep following up. So again, the news tonight, Marcus Stroman has a tear in that left calf. He's on the injured list. And we had uh, talked about Rick Porcello uh, not starting today's inner squad game. Anthony Recker, my friend, you nailed it. 
they were just resetting the rotation. So the plan for the Mets going into this weekend against the Braves is they were on Friday, Saturday, Stephen Matz, Sunday, Rick Porcellus. We're talking about Brody Van Wagenen's options here as the pitching depth is going to be tested. Certainly, Dan, what would you like to see him do? Well, I mean, right now, with the guys that they have on their roster, is that enough to get you through a full season? Probably not. So you're going to have to go shopping out there. As Andy mentioned, you've got about a month to, to take stock of who you have in tow here before you commit to making a big trade. The ironic thing about this is that Sterling was that Crowder, Mike, E. Jaron, and myself. Yeah, Andrew P. It didn't go through, buddy. I think we might have a knockout box ordered here. has one more World Series ring than the entire Twins team. 90 feet, Piv! 90 feet! Oh, I'll never forget. Never forget that. Oh. California for a wedding. I was watching that game at a hockey game. I was the only guy in the entire friggin' building not paying attention to the hockey game. Glued to the TV, jumping up and down, looking like an idiot. 90 feet. 90 feet with no outs. Oh. I was going to say, how far away is Melendez? Oh. I have a feeling it could be Yanks Dodgers, man. It's like going to happen for all of us. Screw it to it. It's 2020, Nate. That would be fitting. I saw that, Craig. Yeah. Will uh, Will sent me the link. I saw his ERA wasn't great on the spring, but still pretty cool, man. Let's hop over here. We got a 2020 knockout box.
addition to the top of the show, it appears repeating Robert Gesellman also going on the injured list. He still has those triceps issues, and we're talking about taking away a piece of the bullpen. Well, you're already losing one there, too. So when we come back, the top story on this day before we came on the air was Mookie Betts signing a monster extension. Hey, Andrew. How's it going, man? Excellent. Give me just a second, and I'll have a couple boxes for you to choose from, bud. God, SNY has so many commercials. No. That is cool. I love MLB TV, man. Okay, Andrew P is going to do a knockout box, everybody. First time break with LCB. Good luck, Andrew. Actually, I think you did join Larry's basketball break Monday night. So second, first personal, though. Uh, one's on the top, five's on the bottom. Give me a number when you're ready. everybody tim with live case .com here we got andrew p trying out a personal box for the first time going with a 2020 knockout so andrew assuming you're a fight fan of course who's your favorite fighter buddy and he is going box three we're gonna get zoomed there we go and there's three i will leave the display in the back a couple minis Severino wind up. Was it Tommy John for Severino? I can't remember either. Or was it just a elbow spring or something? Dodgers just locked Mookie down 12 years? Or was that earlier today? Okay. Lionheart. Blue from the Gus fight. Curtis Blades Green. Little Izzy. Little Megan. Nunez. Cowboy. Montana. Claudia Gadela. Damn. Very nice. One two punch Ruby. Fighter worn t shirt on the right. Vent used mat on the left. That's a Ruby out of eight. Five out of eight, and that was from UFC. 240 for Hakeem DeWodu. Cool looking card there. And the auto. One of my favorite fighters. There she is. The bullet. Valentina Shevchenko, my friend. Nice break. First mini. Solid results. Ruby Hakeem. Beautiful bullet inscription. Very nice. Yeah, Tommy John in February. Okay, nice. Second ruby of the box, Jennifer Maya. Sweet. Two rubies. Six out of eight on the second ruby. Corey Anderson. We got Latifi, JoJo, Irene Aldana, who unfortunately the pull out of her fight Saturday with Holly Holm. That was going to be a great fight. 
Jermaine, Junior, Cejudo, and... Damn. Three rubies in this box. Got a hot box knockout, man. First up, you got a Pettis 1-2 punch. Fighter worn t-shirt. And the mat is from UFC 241. She definitely has better striking than Damien. Agreed. Five out of 50 on the Pettis. 1-2. And the third ruby in the box, Santiago Ponzanibio. A ruby athlete worn t-shirt. Three rubies. Holy ears on him. That is cauliflower. Three out of eight on that ruby. Three rubies, one box. Here we go. Two left. It's three rubies, two boxes so far. Go three for three here. Got a purple. If you're a DC fan, out of 25. 21 out of 25. Get a favor blue, Mara Romero, rookie, Andrade, Yair, Whitaker. Hope he wins this weekend. Ozdemir, Joanna, and got a one-two of the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. T-shirt and the mat is from forty-two out of one hundred from UFC two twenty-six on me. Derek Lewis, one-two punch. And... Nice. The Killer Gorilla, Jared Cannonier. It's a nice auto. 16 out of 80. And that is a t-shirt, or was it a mat? T-shirt relic. We think Jared Cannonier. A couple solid fighters here. Good so far, Andrew? Enjoying the box? A couple nice pulls, some nice rubies. Here we go, last one. I see purple again. Go ahead and move the auto down there. Oh, yep, the auto is on the bottom. Steep Bay, the greatest heavyweight of all time. Alexis Davis. Lionheart again. Gastelum. Damian Maya. There you go, Dale. There's your boy. Caitlin Chukagan. Foxy. Yana Kunitskai, Jeremy Stevens. Top hit is a Jumbo Zabbit. Nice card. Featherweight contender. That is 31 out of 135 for Zabbit. That was event used from 235. And you got yourself a Ruby rookie first auto. Or not Ruby, sorry. Purple rookie first auto. Jeff Neal. Definitely an up-and-comer. Promising. I feel like he lost his last fight. But it was close. Welterweight division, 10 out of 25. Still pretty young there. Dude's a solid fighter, though. Pretty nice box, man. You need anything else, you know what to do. The queue is wide open. That goes for anybody else, too. Going for a little bit longer here. Uh, we do have a finest team draft filling up. If anybody's interested, just let me know. Get you the details on that. Aside from that, if anybody wants a box, feel free to order. You got it, Andrew. Thank you, man. We ship out over the weekend, so you should see that early to mid next week. Thanks, buddy. Nice knockout box. Three rubies. Solid. Go ahead and get that right up on the tube. So we're two away on Finest. And I don't think we had much love for the UFC uh, break I pitched out there. I'm doing some, uh, a little bit of clerical stuff here. So again, if anybody needs me, just type into the chat, guys.
Jeff McNeil to lead the National League in hits is plus 2,000, guys. $100 bet returns two grand. That could be a solid bet. It's a great bet, dude. Yeah. Since they aired it on TV, it's probably gone down. Even though it's 60 games, it's so hard to make a prediction. A guy can get hot for a couple of months, then struggle the rest of the way. That's usually how a 162-game season kind of equals everything out. But Bellinger will be my pick. I'll give you a sleeper pick if you really want to throw one up against the board. How about Brian Reynolds of the Pittsburgh Pirates? That's a guy nobody talks about, but he is a sweet hitter. Uh, that, that's just a name out of nowhere, Dan. But you know what? Quality player, Doug. Three on his hitter. Somebody I put hit on thought of. It'll probably 60 games. Why not? Um, Anthony, where is Jeff McNeil in this conversation to you? Uh, he's certainly in the top, you know, two or three, I think. The top two or three names. Just because we saw this guy hit 350, basically, uh, the first half last year. So this is a guy who can hit, uh, you know, for an outrageous batting average. There's not a whole lot of other guys that can get hot like him and do that uh, you know, on any kind of consistent basis. Uh, I think you also have to consider a guy like, obviously, Christian Yelich. But another name to throw out there, Brian Reynolds' teammate, uh, Kevin Newman, also a very, very good hitter. Uh, you know, but there, there are so many names in this National League. It's going to be a tight race. Let's just keep naming Pittsburgh Pirates. What do you think? I like that idea. Josh Bell, there was a brief moment there where Willie really Stargell, when Anthony's uh, picture was frozen, I thought it was something I said. He's never going to do the show again. He's Chicks dig the long him. ball, though, Ben. Um, I like Jeff McNeil in this conversation. I happen to think if he's going to go back to that first half McNeil last year, the, the power numbers were so high in the second half. The 330 hitter when he's right and when he wants to be. That's how talented he is. I like him to lead the league in hits. Maybe a batting champion as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Same time and place tomorrow. Just hours away from actual baseball, and the Mets are dealt a huge blow. Welcome to the Gecko Sports Night. I'm Janine Coakley alongside Jonas Schwartz. Well, what happened to the Mets? Murdy joins us, and you'll hear from the opening day starter. All right, and a blockbuster report emerges about Jets owner Woody Johnson. We'll show you both Johnson's response and Jamal Adams chimed in as well. But we start with the Mets. And do they remember when we all thought they had a ton of pitching depth? Well, no more. The Amazons put Marcus Stroman and Robert Gazelman on the injured list on Wednesday. Stroman's been dealing with a left calf issue for a few days, and an MRI revealed a tear. As for Gazelman, he has right triceps tightness. This is a big blow for the Mets, as Stroman was stepping into the number two spot in the rotation that was vacated by Noah Syndergaard. Here's the reaction from manager Luis Rojas. Finding out, uh, you know, the muscle strain now and... Um, and you, you know how much he grinded uh, through it. I mean, when the first we spoke about it, it was always a uh, muscle tightness, you know, and he came in that game. I don't know if you guys remember the line drive that it took of, uh, uh, of the calf last uh, Friday, and, you know, he pitched a little bit through it, and he finished his pitches also in the bullpen. Um, you know, he came in Monday, tried to throw outside. He threw a 50-push side, but... Uh, he just said that it was a little bit of tightness. He wasn't much concerned, but now, now getting, getting, getting results, uh, and you know what we have now in hand is going to. This is going to be a week to week then, uh, just to keep following up. All right, let's go inside out with our MLB insider Andy Martino at City Field, and you heard Luis Rojas say this is a week to week deal. How much of a blow? Change your mind. Bats? Just notice you put that on the end. I didn't see that before. For the Mets, it's just bad news. Having already lost Noah Syndergaard to Tommy John surgery, yeah. so really different types of players, I guess. Contact hitter, uh, to power hitter, etc., etc. Et creates depth issues with the back end of the rotation. He was an important piece. They needed him to have a good year. And, and with Luis Rojas saying that it's not day to day, it's week to week. With a 60-game season, you really have to question when or if you're going to see Stroman. Calf injuries can be really slow healing. So it's bad news. So, of course, the immediate thought is, how do you replace Strowman? A lot of talk about Seth Lugo coming out of the bullpen and back into that rotation. What are the possibilities? 
Crown. The problem with Lugo is that he's just not stressed out yet. They've been using him as a reliever. Uh, if you want to put him back in the rotation, you figure it would take another couple of starts to stretch him out. And again, we had a short season, so that might be the way to go in a perfect world, but 2020, we're fired from a perfect world. So then you have uh, David Peterson, Corey Oswald, two back-end guys. Uh, Peterson's thrown well uh, in camp. He's had a, a nice slider working on a curveball, a guy who might be ready to be serviceable in the back end. And then uh, Brody Van Wagenen just really has to turn his attention to the oncoming trade deadline. Here we are before opening day, and we're already talking about the trade deadline, uh, which is about five weeks into the season. Very unique uh, year in that respect, too, but it's hard to predict who's going to be selling, if anybody's going to be selling. <laughs> There's no scouting of prospects with no Kind of hard to compare them, like I said, really. You're talking a power RBI guy against an on-base singles guy. Our baseball insider Andy Martino joining us from City Field. Thanks, Andy. Janae. All right, Jonas. Time for Homeschool presented by Geico. They made mosaic fast break, too. And good to have our friend Julie Stewart Binks back with us. How you been, Julie? It's great to see you guys. It's been a while. The last time I was on here was March 12th, and a couple of things have happened since then, so I'm glad that we're able to talk sports again. All right, Julie, well, we'll start with you. How much does the loss of Marcus Stroman for any amount of time hurt the Mets? I mean, you have to look at it. This is a year where everything has been turned upside down. Normalcy that we have come to know it in the world <laughs> has been just completely obliterated. But still, the Mets found a way to rely on the fact that they have finished their season before it began. And, I mean, the fact is, though, this is 2020. We want to have a silver lining. We're going to approach this in a different way. Of course, this isn't good news. It's, it's never good to lose one of your strongest members of your starting pitching rotation. But then you look at the fact that this is a different season. This is a shorter season. So... The DH rule for sure, man. Work in your for favorite. sure. Expanded rosters, maybe you use that. I am actually sitting here bullpen updating bullpen my basketball pricing. It is it's a much brighter spot than it was last year. And then Ooh, you have to look it's insane. The guys you already have with Mats and Waka and Porcello, and maybe you don't necessarily need them to be stars because also you don't have to use them for that many starts. And then you look at the fact that the Mets. Okay, guys, we are. The last couple of years. Nearing the end of the night here, the finest break. Probably need to have that filled in about 15 minutes to get it done tonight. Anything but normal? Who knows what could happen? Anybody else in the room in on a finest spot? And is everybody still here? I've got Crowder, Mike E, Jaron, and myself. I am still here. Soon after the pandemic hit, news came out that he had Tommy John surgery. This is a this is a contract year. Still got Jaron. I know I can text Crowder. Mikey, you're still hanging around, I'm sure. Crowder's present. Look at that. You look at this starting rotation, and listen, I'm going to stretch Seth Lugo out and take him out of that bullpen and put him into the starting rotation because even though... We So Strowman's probably done. He's got a muscle tear in his left calf. He ain't pitched this year. In this bet rotation, the only certainty you have right now is Jacob DeGrom. And for a team that at one point in time was loaded with starting pitchers, look at where that starting rotation is right now. The offense better be good. The DH better be a benefit for the Mets. And the bullpen, obviously, better be on point. Because if it's, it's not, it's going to be a long 60 games for this Mets team. Because the Stroman news that came out earlier today, not a good start here for Rojas and Cup. All right, guys, meanwhile for the Yankees, they're just hours away from their opener down in D.C. against the Nets. Wednesday's workout was limited due to rain, but the team is ready knowing they have championship or bust expectations. Perhaps no one is more excited than the opening day starter. We're excited. Uh, it's a nice train ride. It's raining a little bit. We had an right Aesop's now. Fable um, book, Andrew. And there hasn't been a monster hit out of that case, though, and there are seven left. I had messaged you earlier if you uh, if you wanted any like shipped off to you, so feel, feel free like to hit me up whenever. Guys Give you a little bit of a uh, better price if you're interested, or you can grab one live now for 125 if you uh, feeling froggy. But um, two Ken Jennings autos out of there. Wasn't much uh, other than the Aesop's book and uh, a couple cat patches. To put us in a uh, I'm not sure if they did the map relics. We haven't had one yet this year. Starting tomorrow. We're out of this year. Um, 
you know, I feel these guys are ready for it. So, Moose, the Yankees are one of the favorites heading into the 60-game stretch. But does the shortened season diminish whoever is the eventual world champs? Yeah, I don't think so. I, I mean, this we're all going to look at this obviously a little bit differently. So, I mean, <laughs> 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 look at the Stanley Cup that the Devils won in 95 differently. Oh, the Spurs have Char Charles, I didn't see that. My bad, dude. Listen, it is what it is, right? Yes, I mean, yes, you may. Right the King of Denmark stamp was really cool, actually, yeah. And then there was an FDR one, and who was the other one? Woodrow Wilson? Just got an order popped through. I assume that's Charles. Yep. All right, Charles is going to play the odds here. <laughs> I'll just set that on top. Left three, right three, or top box, whichever one you want. All right, I will give the finest team draft till 11.15, so about five more minutes. If we don't have the full by then, we'll ask it. Hold on a second, I just screwed up my entire software. That not only changes the habits of day-to-day -day actions and what you're used to and how you go to the ballpark and even chemistry with some of your new teammates, but you're also dealing with the weight of perhaps your family right. members or friends that are dealing with this Come on. as well. And so for a team and for okay. players that are able to... How's it going, everybody? Tim would like CaseBreak.com. Yeah, we got Charles here, 2020 Upper Deck Good Win Champions. Conditions. And they cut you off. Of course it did. They so rolled live. Well, let's send it back to Jonas for now. Hey, okay, middle on the left. Been working through this case tonight. Nothing huge. A couple nice cards here and there. Let me get zoomed in and see if we can play something nice. And I'm gonna shut that off. Because it's all commercial. Three hits, autographs, relics, manufactured patches, or 3D lenticulars. Probably had a bunch of bounty cards today, but we didn't flip the back of every one. Here we go. They're very slow to open. You may have already heard. Got a fat card. Damn. Two fat cards back to back. Not going to peek. Set them on the bottom. Two fatties and it's close to last call. No. if we had total out of this case. Anybody in the room remember? I want to say four. I think last year Goodwin Autos were only falling, what, three per case? Maybe they increased the odds this year. We may have actually had five autos already. Andrew, have you opened any yet? By the way, forgot to ask. Is a really thin pack. There we go. Nice. So this is your first look. The base cards are awesome this year. Improved photography, quality, white, black, and gold theme. I'll show you them in a second. They're wicked sharp. Okay, we'll go on the left side, end with the two fetties. There's the base cards this year, for anybody that hasn't seen them yet. Bit of a gloss to it, just a tough or just a touch. Very pretty though. Okay, Jason Dominguez.
got his base. Burst Hosseini. Another mini there. Dominica. Splash Andrade, splash of color. And Mark Henry Strongman. Last call. Anybody else interested in a full case finest team draft? We make a draft board up on screen. It's 275 to enter. You're going to wind up with five teams. You each take turns drafting. Very fun break. It's a full eight box case of the brand new 25. It take about 30:45, so we gotta have it filled to squeeze it in tonight. Two spots remain. Anybody interested? Let me know. Robin Bone. Do we have a hit? We do not have a hit. Got the chess player Lumberjacks. Wood grain on there. Scarface the wrapper. Laura Wilkinson on the mini. Don't have any hits yet, but we know two of them are way down at the bottom there. No problem, Andrew. Oh. I am sorry to hear that, my friend. I just got a massive bill today for dental work, so I feel your pain. You got an auto, buddy. No idea who this is going to be. F-A-B? Hmm, let's find out. Fabiano Caruana. You got his inscription out of 200. That is the first inscription we've seen in the case. He is a chess grandmaster. 92 out of 100 on the Fabiano. Carol, <laughs> interesting. If I had to pick one word that you would have replied with, interesting probably would have been on the list. Chess grandmaster. Another auto out of the case, though. Auto's definitely uh, falling more frequently this year. I could be thinking of Ginter. I don't think so, though. All right, two fatties. Go here. End with that. The King. Goodwin Champions. Oh, we got a mini stuck in there. Hold on. Let me get the mini out. The mini was Gretzky. I'll tell you what. This, uh... Patch is one of the tastiest creatures on Earth. The Giant Grouper. Sea Creature Manufactured Patch. Had a couple of these. I think that's the second or third. Number 15 on the checklist. They can swallow a shark whole. Okay, that I did not know. But damn, they are tasty. They're capable of gender transitioning? Okay, I did not know that. When there is an inadequate quantity of males. Huh. I can't remember which one we had earlier. We had another fish earlier. All right, and your third hit, another fat card. We're going this way. Vince Russo, Splash of Color. I actually kind of like him too. We had quite a few cat patches as well. You got a six cent stamp, so it's going to be an old school one. Looks like it says Nederland on there. Let's see who it is. Okay, that is cool as heck. Queen of the Netherlands, old school vintage stamp. The traditional spelling there, Netherlands. That's neat, man. Wilhelmina. They look so cool. Every one of these we've pulled so far. Great designs. Wow, 1890 to 1948. Holy hell, that's a long time. 
World War II through radio broadcast from London. She became the voice of inspiration for the Dutch resistance to the German occupation. That is really neat. Yeah. All right. Pretty cool box. Kind of off the wall all over the place. You got chess. We got giant groupers and the Queen of the Netherlands. Huh. Your minis uh, just had that one lumberjack parallel. All the rest look normal. Thanks, Charles. Guys, got about a half hour left here. I think we're going to have to kill the finest team draft unless we literally get the last two spots sold right now. Goodwin Champions delivering some pretty cool stuff tonight. Andrew, going to try your luck. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Oh, wow, Andrew. That's crazy. Whenever you're ready. I'm going to go and get the other one up on uh, YouTube real quick. You gonna make me choose? All right, I will choose. If you insist. One quick second, just got a couple clicks left here. How's it going? This is Tim with LiveCaseBreak.com. Once again, a good win box. It's a good one release day. Andrew, he wants me to pick. I'm going to go right at three. I think there's something hiding in this one. Hopefully, it's uh, that card right there. Signature kicks with the LeBron on. Good luck, dude. Or anything else crazy. Let's see, who did they put on the box this year? They've got Dominguez, Bianca Andrescu, LeBron. Any other autos on the box? No, just Dominguez and then the seahorse sea creature. 
All right, man. When you were eyeing too, Rich? Oh man, I just got a feeling. There's a fat card. Two fat cards there, actually. Put them both on the bottom. Okay, near and last call on personals, guys. Got about five minutes. Anything ordered before 11.30 will be ripped tonight. So five minutes. Got to get your order in through the store, and I'll rip it tonight. Another fat card. You got three fat cards in here. All your hits on that side. Maybe some bonus, too. Stamp hits are really cool. They've done those in the past, but they do not look as neat as they look tonight. Plus, they got the... What? Backwards foil here. It's like a tops pack all of a sudden. But plus, they have the little write-ups of the uh, figures on the back, too. It's great. Oh, it's definitely a shadow box. That's exactly what it is. It's just a small shadow box. Alright, we'll go on the left stack, see if there's anything extra, and then you definitely got three thicker hits on the right. Color Burst, Michael Bridges, or Splash of Color, whatever the heck. I've called it three different things tonight. Bucci! Gretzky, Color, Masut. Ken Jennings, he has hit frequently tonight. We definitely got the Ken Jennings case, Simone Manuel. Okay, as expected, not much over here. Was that Dominguez? I think I've seen that one. Very cool Wander card. More base. Okay, to the other side. Mini, and you got the Sphinx. Cat collection. Let's see, is the Sphinx high number? Nope, number three in the Sphinx. Cat collection. Creepy looking cat, man. Ron got one, and I think uh, somebody else got a Ken Jennings as well. Maybe Andrew will hit something here that you can trade for. If you're in the market for a Sphinx, he's got one of those now. Lumberjack Wood Parallel Big Boy. Another color Jennings. Manon Reum. Alex Morgan and the King. All right, you got two hits down there. I don't know where that second one went, but it's somewhere there. Got 
Ben Simmons and Dominguez. Yes, that's exactly who it is, Hake. Yep. Dominika Chubakova, and the relic is Darius Garland. Then your last fat card's on the bottom. Darius Garland, Cavs rookie. Stevie. Bottom card is Vince Russo, and... Can't tell what this is. Let me just take a quick peek to figure out which way. You got another stamp. Stamps are cool. Running hot in this case. Here we go. Let's see what it is. Wow. Old school, man. One and a half cent. This one might be worth some money. It's a Warren G. Harding. Wow. That is so old. That's badass. Warren G. Harding, a one and a half cent USA stamp. That's pretty sweet. A return to normalcy following World War I. It was the very first election in which women could vote. Died during his third year in office from a heart attack. VP Calvin Coolidge. Anybody that took U.S. history in uh, high school remembers a return to normalcy. It's pretty sweet. One and a half cent stamp. Nice. There you go, Andrew. Alright, guys. Last call. Got about a minute to get your orders in. Charles is going to do one more. Anybody else want to do something for a nightcap? Get it in. Okay. That was your first box, Andrew. I don't know why I was thinking you had a second one already. This is a really fun product to open this year. I thought it was a little repetitive, the first couple boxes, but the last uh, last half of the case have uh, has not been uh, not been repetitive at all. Go right ahead, Andrew. Right ahead, no problem. Whenever you're ready, Charles, let me know which box. Hello, everybody. Another good win. This one's for Charles, and I think Andrew's going to do one more. Yeah, that Warren Harding stamp was my favorite so far. That is really neat. Although the, the, Queen, of Den or the Queen of the Netherlands was pretty sweet, and the King of Denmark. Bottom right for Charles. Good luck. We have no big monstrous hits yet, but a whole bunch of really cool stuff. That stamp that Warren G. Harding was tier D. How uh, how far do they go? <laughs> Everyone's eyeing boxes. Look, late night. Uh, last call. Starting to eye some boxes. Yes, I believe it was, Richard. One year they had those. They also had hair relics. That was creepy. Is it JFK hair, hair DNA? I think that's what it was.
The Golden Bumblebee? Ugh, it's not jogging my memory. Very vague. I love dinosaur stuff, Richard. What channel is that on? Dinosaur, dinosaur Hunters? A&E or Nat Geo or something? Add it to my list. Discovery? Nice, dude. I hope they do cool stuff, Nate. on the bottom here. Let's dig through and find our hits. Little splash, Husseini. Nice wander base. Jenny Andraj. Charles. Let's stack those right next to your other ones. MJ. Might be the first MJ portrait that I feel like he kind of looks old there. Old for MJ. Casey Mize Mini. Fabiano. Nice LeBron mini. It's a regular. Go with your auto from earlier. Chess Grandmaster. Haven't seen one of those in a few boxes. Pretty cool looking this year. There's hit number one. Let's see if we can dig out another auto here. Lumberjack Simone Manuel. Suit and Alex Morgan. Oh, the National, yes. This is a product that always historically is at the National, too. Yeah, forgot about that. Damn, got another auto. Charles, two for two on ink. Let's show the fat card first and then show that auto. Vince Russo, you get a sea creature. See who we got this time. The Wahoo! <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. It just felt right. The Wahoo Sea Creature. Looks like a northern pike to me. Or a muskie. The Wahoo. He's a sleek, tropical predator. Solitary fish. Easily excited creatures. Yeah, he's card number two, so he's probably tier one. The Wahoo! Alright, let's see who the sink is. Two for two on autos. Autos quite abundant. That would have been great, Egg. Ryan Stasic. Goodwin Champions Inc. And it doesn't tell me what band he's from, so I have no idea. Who knows? Ryan Stasic. Guitarist for somebody will tell me. I feel like one year they may have had farm animals. Seems like something they would do. And your minis. Nice Hosini. Lumberjack. And the rest were just base. Nice Alex on the bottom. Umphreys McGee. I feel like that's made up. It's got to be made up, right? Alright, Andrew. One more? Which one you want, buddy? Let's 
It's not made up. I stand corrected. Andrew needs some ink so you can trade. So how did he make it into Ginter? Legendary live shows, it says. Interesting. Bottom left. All right. I'm just glad you didn't make me pick, man. How's it going, guys? We got one more to close the night. Andrew's going to rock another Ginter. Or, <laughs> not Ginter. Goodwin. Bottom left. I will probably, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll offer more of these tomorrow night. We're only doing uh, Optic and then the big Sterling break, so. We can do some more Goodwin Champions personals tomorrow. If anybody's interested. And if anybody would like their own case packed up and shipped off to them, we do have a couple available. There we go. Andrew, let's see what we can end with, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Colin. Colin Goodwin uh, Ginter. 80 bucks for that guy's auto. That's great then. Wow. 60% of box cost. 60% spot price. <laughs> I think that's 60 anyways. Tim Math is not so good. A couple tiers below Ron Math. <laughs> That happened to be Mr. Piv. There's a fat card. Two bucks for the Wahoo. Damn, Wahoo gets no respect. Jennings. Oh, you got it too? I'm not sure. Ronnie got his autograph as well. He's probably already looked it up. Jack. Looks like a 3D lenticular on the way, too. Joe Morafsky. Jesse Lebrec. Dominguez Mini. That'll probably sell. Oh, wow. The top of that's destroyed. What the hell? Hate having to show that, but eesh. Let's see if we can get a background there. Top of that is like super jacked up. First card I've seen damaged out of a box, but Dominguez. All right, Robin Bone. She is a pole vaulter. That's one interesting uh, card. All right, Robin Bone. Andrew. There's a mini tiger. LeBron and Jenny Andraj. Definitely got, uh, yeah, definitely got cut. Alright, 
Stevie, another filler. Mark Henry, strong man. Tiger Woods. Nice wander again. So one hit is out. Got a big boy mini. Splash. Rose Laval. Focusing. Bucci. And big boy. All right, I'm going to leave one card there. I think there's another thick card coming up here. Or perhaps an autograph hiding. Uh, another autograph. It is Phil Dalhauser Beach Volleyball Extraordinaire. It is really cool to see the autos fall much more frequently in Goodwin. Good sign for the product. Phil Dalhauser, good win champs. Can't imagine that's a rare auto though. So Robin Bone and Phil Dalhauser, and you got a thick card to end it. There's your base. Let's see what we end uh, 2020 Goodwin release day with. Only well, got a bonus card there. Kristen Coleman, color blast. It's gonna be the cat collection. Which way are we going here? This way. This might be a rare one, as this is a very rare cat. The Snow Leopard. If they were going to make any cat the rarest one, Snow Leopard's got to be up on that list. Not so sure that looks like a Snow Leopard. <laughs> Interesting. Tier 4. That is the cat collection number 45. So tier 4 or 5. Oh, that's up there then. 1 in 1,200 packs. Nice. Decent one. <laughs> it's like it's missing an eye. And it's got a, a strange amount of yellow fur hanging down. <laughs> Just an interesting, uh, interesting snow leopard there. Thick cat. There you go. Battle wound. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we'll open some more of that tomorrow. I can, I can also do some before I, uh, before I start the breaks tomorrow. So if any of you would like another box tomorrow night, feel free to pre-order it on the uh, site during the day, and it'll be up first. Tomorrow night, we got both Optic PYTs. They're on the site filling up. And we only got two spots left in the top Sterling. That's 450 bucks a spot draft your mini box they have themes it's a pretty cool pretty cool product albeit the uh the price point we'll see how it goes i don't know because it's not here yet ronnie <laughs> all we got was good one and then a whole bunch of stuff we ordered off dina Oh, the good one. Yes, it does, Ronnie. Yep, two eight boxers. I thought you were asking about Sterling. <laughs> All right. Guys, had a fun night. That was really fun to open. Made it, what, 13 boxes? 13 boxes is a good one. It feels like I did a whole rookie pee night. That's what my arms feel like. The good one's a beast. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. If I don't see you, have a great weekend. Stay safe. Ronnie's on Friday, I believe, this week, not Saturday. Pretty sure Friday. Going to have some football, some hockey, and possibly a baseball mixer. Baseball tomorrow, everybody. Woo! See you guys then. I'll have one of the games on, if not both, at least in the background. Oh, can't wait. MLB is back. See you guys tomorrow night. Later, everybody.